Hi YouTube family and welcome back to Javon's Creations. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I would love for you to stick around by pressing that subscribe button and turning that bell notification on. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this really beautiful clock. I hope you all enjoy. And if you would like to see how I updated this glam clock, stick around and keep on watching. Jumping right into it, I'm showing you all the original clock. They're old and earth tone colors. So first things first, we're gonna give it a coat of silver to make it more modern. I'm tracing the perimeter of the actual clock. That way any spray paint won't get onto it. Here is how the clock turned out. I did do two coats of the spray paint. After about two hours of drying, I decided to use this bling wrap from the Dollar Tree in the crevices around the clock, and I went with a single strand just wide enough to place inside of the grooves. I did use hot glue for this um, gluing process. If you would like, you can use super glue, E6000, or whatever you choose. I did choose hot glue because it dries quick, and I didn't need that strong of a hold for it. They're placing the bling wrap in each groove. Here's how it turned out. I am very pleased with it. And I decided that it wasn't enough bling. So around the perimeter, I will be adding bling wrap as well. So I'm using a single strand for the perimeter as well. I will go back around and add a, an additional single strand. Using the single strand will give you a easier maneuver going in that circular direction. Here's a better close-up to show you guys um, how I'm doing it. The glue does dry quick, so I'm doing it bit by bit. And you also want to use small amounts of the glue, that way it does not ooze out from the sides or through the actual bling wrap. After finishing the first layer, I went ahead and added a second. And here is how it turned out. Let me know how you guys are pleased with the bling on the clock. After adding all this glam, I could not leave the inside with this manila yellow. So thankfully, flipping it over, there was a way to detach the actual clock. I did go ahead and give it a coat of the same spray paint. And this is how it turned out. I did mark the sides of the clock where the 12, 3, 6, and 9 would be. Using these crystal gems that I got from Walmart, I will be arranging them around the minute and second hand. I did use E6000 along with hot glue for a stronger hold because I did not want the gems to fall off. However, you can use whatever glue you have on hand. Any one should work for this method. I also use a variation of sizes of gems, being that the hand goes from big to small. In the comments below, let me know how you would update your wall clock. Would you go, go the glam route or would you decide to do something different? After finishing up with the gems, I Wanted a mirror background behind the clock and using the Dollar Tree mirror coasters, I went with the octagon shape, followed by hot gluing it to the foam board, and here are the final results. Let me know how you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and in the comments below let me know how you like the results of this updated wall clock. I think it turned out really nice. I thank you all for watching Javon's Creations. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram page, Javon's Creations. Thank you all. Talk to you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day.